Every single NHL draft provides us with one or two busts most likely in the top 15, but it is very rare to see the number one overall selection in the draft not even turn out to be a solid or consistent NHL player, but that is the case we find ourselves talking about with Nal Yakupov, and I'm going to be asking you guys the question, is he the biggest draft bust of the modern era? And I'm going to be talking about what happened to him up until this point in time. Growing up in Russia, Nal Yakupov's father was a coach for a local junior team, so it was no surprise that Nal Yakupov was really brought up into the hockey lifestyle, and he fell in love with the game quickly. He first skated at the age of four, and he was so in love with the game ever since. After dominating minor hockey in Russia, Nal Yakupov would then move to North America in 2010 to further his hockey career and really chase his dream of being an NHL star. Yakupov would go on to join the Sarnia Sting of the Ontario Hockey League and Sarnia was very excited about Yakupov deciding to join their team because they really did think they could mold him into a superstar and that is exactly what they did as in his first OHL season in 65 games he scored 49 goals and added 52 assists for 101 points making Yakupov one of the most highly touted draft prospects in the world. Heading into Yakupov's draft year in the 2011-12 season, he wanted to build on the successful season that he had in his rookie year and really show that it was not a fluke and he was the real deal as a draft prospect. And that is exactly what he would do. He didn't play in near as many games, but he still was very productive with 31 goals and 38 assists for 69 points on a Sarnia team that really wasn't that good. And with Alex Galchenyuk missing most of the 2011-12 season, Yakupov really was left to do all the damage by himself and he did a pretty solid job carrying Sarnia to the playoffs. Their playoff run would only last one round, they only played 6 games but Yakupov did tally 5 points and looked pretty impressive in those 6 postseason games. Heading into the summer of the 2012 NHL entry draft, Nal Yakupov was the number one ranked hockey prospect in the entire world and this is what Brennan Ross of the Hockey Writers had to say about Nal Yakupov. The passion and drive that Yakupov displays on a nightly basis is his most admirable quality. On nights where Yakupov has to earn every point and play through frustration, he still competes with every inch he has. When Yakupov's teammates score, he celebrates like he did the scoring. When Yakupov earns an assist, he celebrates like it was his first ever assist. And when Yakupov does the scoring, he celebrates like he will never score a goal again. He just plays the game with such passion and that just shows how much this kid loves the game and wants to be an NHL superstar. International Scouting Services head scout Ross McLean also had this to say about Nal Yakupov. Yakupov is a gifted goal scoring forward, something that really doesn't seem to come around that often, so when one does, he is a hot commodity. His explosive burst of speed and understanding of scoring principles off the rush is very similar to that what we have seen from Taylor Hall a couple years ago but also has some people thinking Pavel Bure. He's a dynamic and electrifying player that can bring fans to their feet and is a prime talent for marketing the sport in any market. He's a player that should be able to step into the next level very quickly and continue that progress. Put all that together and you still only have a glimpse of what makes him such a desirable prospect and the number one ranked for all hockey prospects in the world. So obviously the hype around Nal Yakupov heading into the 2012 NHL entry draft was real and the Edmonton Oilers saw that as well and they went on to select him with their first overall draft pick and they saw him as a guy who could come in and be the piece they needed to really mold that team back to where they wanted to get and that is the Stanley Cup playoffs. Nal Yakupov's rookie season was also the lockout shortened season so he would start his year over in the KHL where in 22 games he would post 18 points looking fairly impressive and when the NHL came back for that half season Yakupov showed why he was the number one overall draft pick looking fantastic in 48 games scoring 17 goals and adding 14 assists for 31 total points and it was looking like the Edmonton Oilers struck gold with this guy and the next year they were really expecting him to come in play a full season and be a star. And I'm not sure now Yakupov was ready for all that pressure as the next season he would take a major step back in his production where in 63 games he would score just 11 goals and add 13 assists for 24 points and he was a minus 33. 
Obviously, the defense of Nal Yakupov was pretty much his only flaw coming out of junior and was seen to be something that could be tweaked and fixed here and there, but when he is being bad in the defensive zone and he's not giving you the goal scoring that you expected him to, it really wasn't a good sign. The Edmonton Oilers didn't press the panic button on Nal Yakupov right away, as in a lot of cases some players have fantastic rookie years, but then take a major step back in their sophomore season and then the next year come back to the player that they were in their rookie year, so the expectations for Nal Yakupov heading into the 2014-15 season were high, and I'm pretty sure Edmonton Oilers management and their fans were pretty nervous to see what they were going to get from Nal Yakupov. But things really didn't get all that much better as in 81 games he would post just 33 points and would go on to be a minus 35 and then he would only spend one more year with the Edmonton Oilers where he would score 23 points in 60 games before being traded to the St. Louis Blues then being signed by the Colorado Avalanche on a one year contract and now we find ourselves where we are today and now Yakupov has signed a contract in the KHL and is no longer a professional hockey player in North America just six years after he was drafted with the number one overall draft pick. What makes Yakupov's bus story a little bit more sad than others is just how much of a fan he was of the game and how much fun he had playing no matter where he was after the Colorado Avalanche were eliminated from the playoffs and now Yakupov very well could have known that would have been his last NHL game he skated off the ice with a huge smile on his face while getting a standing ovation from the Colorado Avalanche home crowd and now Yakupov I definitely think is going to succeed playing in Russia he's a guy who still is only 24 and has a lot of skill and I think one thing that definitely put a damper on his development and reading articles and just trying to find out what happened to Nal Yakupov, it seems everybody was saying that it was because Edmonton handled him wrongly and there was just too many coaching changes that Nal Yakupov really couldn't get used to one playbook or one play style and was just never really able to get attached to a head coach and there was just not enough consistency in the Edmonton Oilers organization and by then his development has just really slowed down down and he would not find a home in the rest of the NHL but now he has found a home back in his hometown of Russia and you never know if this guy lights it up over in the KHL I'm pretty sure he's still young enough that an NHL team that really doesn't have much talented players or in a rebuild phase could take a chance on this guy to come in and really show what he has at an NHL level. It really is sad to see a number one overall pick and a kid who was such a fan of the game be out of the NHL just six years after he was drafted first overall. But these things happen and some coaching mishaps in Edmonton and just them not handling him properly and obviously his game just not being able to transition over to an NHL level all played huge factors on why he was the one of the biggest busts in NHL history and I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Do you think he is the biggest NHL draft bust in history? There are some other names out there that you could throw around like Rick DiPietro, Patrick Stefan, Alexander Daigle, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think is now Yakupov the biggest NHL draft bust of all time. So that is going to wrap up this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy and make sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and your opinion on now Yakupov. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content. And I will see you guys all in the next video.